this video we're going to look at trackers and how the console can integrate with third-party tracking systems as well as simulate trackers within the visualizer. We have a demo show loaded up here with a cue list with some tracker cues. We've gone into setup, view settings, network and turned on the tracker simulator. That will get you the red and green cross that are bouncing back and forth across the visualizer at this time. In this queue stack, we've created a series of queues to demonstrate the functionality of trackers with the console. So I'm going to switch over so we can see the visualizer better. And we'll step through these. So to start, we have a handful of fixtures on our subject here. We can see the green and red trackers bouncing back and forth, as well as another green tracker up above his head. The tracker works by assigning a palette to the tracker. In this case, the palette contains all of our spots. So if we were to put these spots into that position, they're going to follow the green tracker wherever it goes. If we were to switch to the second palette, which is what we do in the next queue, it's going to follow the red tracker wherever it goes. Trackers can be inserted into the visualizer virtually, such as our green cross in the center of the screen here, and they can be moved around in 3D space as you would with a fixture or a viz camera. In this case, we have a tracker that's going to simulate an area list swinging back and forth on a trapeze. You'll see as the tracker starts moving, the fixtures will follow. And no matter where those go, if we were to move the truss up or even switch sides with it, the fixtures are going to do their best to follow that tracker within their range of motion. Of course, this relies on the visualizer being accurate to real life, but you'll see no matter where we send the fixtures, they stay focused on that tracker. In addition to tracking virtual points, we can also track objects in the viz. In this case, we've made our tracker the piano and the visualizer. This now means wherever the piano goes, the fixtures will follow. This can be great for tracking virtual set pieces, as well as using stand-ins for focus positions in the visualizer to update later. Simply by moving the object in the viz, the focus of the fixtures will update. If the piano moves back to center, you'll see the fixtures stay focused on it the entire time and follow it wherever it goes. Again, even if the truss were to move up or down, it's constantly updating that position based on the position of the fixtures in relation to the object. You can also use trackers to block off sections of your stage. You can use this to trigger other cues and things like changing colors or blacking out lights when they hit a specific section of your stage. In this example, we have a runway consisting of a box. It's just a simple cube in the visualizer that our guy is standing on there. And what we've set up is a queue here in playback two that is gonna say every time that the tracker passes over that box, it needs to trigger that queue. That queue tells the fixtures to turn blue. So you'll see every time our green tracker on the floor crosses the box, the fixtures will turn blue. This can be used to block off specific sections of the set or a particular performer or position on stage forcing a change any time those lights get near that area. Trackers work via a protocol called OTP for external trackers. Programs like Blacktracks and some other follow spot systems can provide tracker data via OTP as well as some other protocols. The desk can take that information in and using the visualizer setup and the information from that OTP tracker, it can come up with a solution to get your fixtures focused and keep them focused on your subject, no matter where they go on stage. Hope you found this useful. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at www.campsislighting.com.